Welcome back. You're tuning into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3 on this chilly Tuesday morning. Welcome to it. Now, yesterday, though, we, we spoke about a very interesting kind of topic where, where some people might, you know, sh fear their job titles because robots can take it over. Um, but it's going a step further today. It is going a step further. So I've never heard of any product being sold out in less than a minute. But basically, there's a new robot toy mm -hmm. in Japan that can portray emotion. Wow. Well, and I think this is the, the, the key word there. Use the, the, the word portray, okay? And in this, its name is Pepper. Okay, first of all, I've given it a dog's name, Pepper. which is a little bit upsetting. <laughs> um, but look, he has been designed... So cute. He has been designed to actually read emotions as well as recognize tones of voice and facial expressions in order to interact with humans. I think most of all, he tries to make you happy according to the robot's creators. And we know how much of our own emotions we display on our face and our mannerisms, our speech patterns, and, and you can read all of these, these signals. So this robot robot picks up on those and obviously I did but look at that little freak yeah look man this uh, is, like this is crazy so basically yeah it can pick up some basic emotions at the moment um, I love you but what what <laughs> what makes this robot very interesting is the fact that it's able to learn as time goes by it's able to learn and evolve and read those emotions and assess and you know we're talking real like artificial real, intelligence yeah well that's here, the yeah. thing it grows like a real child um, yeah. So that's, you know, every development, every one of these robots is going to be different because they're, they're experiencing a different way of life, different input, um, if you will. So it, it's going to be amazing to see how these things develop. But as you, as you said, Zaya, where is this going to lead well, to? Well, this is what scares me. I mean, I mean, the technology, it's great, and it's great for the use of it. But, you know, I know technology will evolve. And, you know, like the movies, the robots <laughs> are going to take over. Yeah, look. <laughs> it's all right, so We are okay, moving. Right? We yeah. are moving forward. You know, this is the future. I mean, we are going to be dealing with robots going forward but uh, Pepper can currently speak English, French, Japanese and Spanish wow. and in the next few months they say he'll be there will be more languages released in its app store which already has around 200 apps. So he's already okay. better than most humans. It's already, it's already big. It's a big thing already. So um, yeah, the question here is would you want an emotional robot to keep you company at home? Uh, we would love to know that from you on Facebook. Maybe.